Hello everyone, I'm Mark Thief Orb, Psychic Gamers, and today I've got some amazing news for you. Just kidding, it's some Black Ops 2 news, but some of you might be interested to hear it. Apparently, they're giving away some pre-order bonuses this time around. They never normally do this with COD, which makes this fairly interesting. Of course, a lot of you will know, and um, some of you may have the Modern Warfare 3 Prestige token a lot of places are giving away for pre-order, and also there's a double-sided poster that they'll hand out on your collection of the game. However, yesterday some news popped up uh, with some photos of posters that have been put up in various different game stores, including Game over here in the UK and a store called Extra Vision in Ireland. I'll put these pictures up in the top right corner so you can look at them. Both of these posters have a little logo which says Nuketown 2025. If we read the text on these posters, it basically explains to us that by pre-ordering the game, we will get a bonus map, Nuketown 2025. This is going to be a reimagining of the original Nuketown, which you can see on screen. Whether this is just going to be a straight-up copy-paste like Terminal into Modern Warfare 3, or whether it is going to be a proper reimagining, like they did with Cliffside into Hazard in Black Ops, isn't quite clear yet. By the sound of it, it will be a proper reimagining of the map, and uh, hopefully it will look a bit different, maybe some more futuristic stuff lying around. But the pre-order goodies don't seem to stop there. If we take a look at this little image from GameStop over in America, we can see that there are four waves of pre-order bonuses being given out. The first one was the prestige token and possibly the poster. I'm not sure if you guys get it over there in America, but definitely the prestige token. After that, there's three more waves of pre-order bonuses that are going to be revealed. One on the 1st of July, one in August, and one in October. It's very likely that the one that they're going to reveal on the 1st of July is going to be Nuketown 2025. The ones after that, we have no information about yet. So that's basically it so far. Information is very thin on this. Um, just you're going to get it if you pre-order the game. A couple of other things I want to pick up on. Um, in the image that came from IGN on this little screen here, it says driving pre-orders and day one. Now, I don't see why they would say that because, you know, that, that's sort of implied in a pre-order. So perhaps you will be able to get these bonuses if you buy the game on day one. Obviously the question is, do people that don't pre-order or buy the game on day one get the content as well? Honestly, I would say yes, it's not like Activision to stop themselves earning some more money from this game, and it will most likely come out as DLC. I've seen people around the web saying, oh, this is going to come out a month after release for everybody to buy. Uh, I haven't heard that verified by anywhere, so I would imagine that's all just speculation. So I'm not going to put a date on it like some people have, but it probably will come out afterwards. I can't see why they wouldn't do it for everyone eventually. So there you go. That's all for now. Are you going to pre-order this game and get your bonuses or are you going to wait and buy it on day one or even later than that and hope they give away the DLC in some other form? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. It was just a quick video. The gameplay in the background wasn't that amazing but it was all I really had on Nuketown. I suck at this game and this map. If you did enjoy this video, think about leaving a rating, comment your opinions and questions, and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3 news. See you next time guys.